Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Glenn Catchapole. Glenn is president and CEO of Your Honors Energy Corporation. Your Honors can be traded as URZ on the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks, Glenn, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Glenn, you have extensive experience in the uranium mining industry. Can you give us an, an introduction to your background? Uh, a thumbnail sketch is that, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I'm a licensed professional engineer uh, with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering and a master's in civil engineering. And in the mid-70s, I first got involved with ISR uranium mine from the regulatory side as the senior hydrologist for the Wyoming Department of Environmental Quality, where my job was to review permit applications and inspect ongoing mining operations. Uh, from there, I got into the private sector. Uh, this would have been in about 1978. And since that time, my whole career has been in producing natural uranium using the ISR or in situ recovery mining method. And along those uh, that time frame, uh, since then, I've held various positions, starting out as a as a well field engineer, laying out well field patterns, and as a an environmental permit getter, we call them, and uh, on up to becoming uh, my last big project uh, before joining your honors is that I was a general manager of the INKAI project in Kazakhstan working for Cameco. And uh, I left that project in 2002 and in 2005 I joined with, with Dennis Higgs, our, exec our executive chairman, to, uh, to build up a new company uh, to be a producer using the ISR method and that's where we are today. We've acquired properties, we've explored them, we've uh, determined their viability and we've got the permits for them and have been in construction and are getting close to startup which we estimate uh, towards the end of this year. Glenn, talk to us a little bit about the significance of the news recently that the Wyoming officials have supported the the financing for the Your Honor's Nickel Ra Nichols Ranch project. Well, to us, uh, this is a very significant event. Uh, it gives us uh, low-cost financing to complete our construction and, and to get into production. Uh, not only is it is it positive in the sense that it's a it's got excellent loan conditions, but it, it reaffirms the state of Wyoming's commitment to the minerals industry. Uh, they've always been a supporter of, of the mining industry and uh, Wyoming has had continuous uranium production going back to 1958. So uranium mining in this state is nothing new, and they have a very good regulatory, environmental regulatory uh, machinery in place, and they do a good job regulating the industry, but they also support it uh, and encourage it. And this industrial development revenue bond program they have is is a very significant factor in in promoting our business in this state. Glenn, let's talk a little bit about the construction, the current construction. If you can give us an update at at Nichols Ranch, and uh, what are the next steps uh, towards production? Well, I like to explain our our construction status by. By talking about there's there's three components, uh, important components. When you set aside the infrastructure, which 
is now in place in terms of roads and electricity and water. We have all those in place. Uh, but the, the three the three legs of the stool for ISR mining is, is one, the well field, which is a very critical component. Uh, second is the processing plant. For us, which is, is just simply a water treatment plant, similar to you'd find in a big city, uh, where we load the uranium from the that's in solution in the water from the well field, and we load it onto special resin. And then in our case, we're going to ship that, that uranium-loaded resin to Cameco Smith Ranch Highland Mine, uh, about 60 miles or so south of us, for final processing. So that's the second element is, is this water treatment or ion exchange plant. And the third is uh, uh, the deep disposal wells, which are essential for getting, uh, taking care of our waste solutions and properly disposing the, of them in an environmentally acceptable manner. So on the status of each of those, uh, we have been installing the production wells in our production area number one uh, for over a year now. And uh, those wells have all been installed. We're now in the process of hooking them up to a, a central location inside the well field called header houses. And we need four of those header houses up and running to start up. And we have those and it's, uh, we're hooking up the, the feeder lines at, as we speak. And so we're about, uh, I'd say 90% complete in the well field, 90 to 95%. Uh, we'll be, be ready to, to turn on the well field. In the processing plant, uh, we're roughly 80 to 85% complete. We've got the remaining work we have to do is the piping. Uh, and most of that is done, but there's some some minor piping left to do. And then the electronics and the electrical part, uh, this will be a, an automated plant and there's a lot of electrical controls and computer programming. And uh, that remains to be completed as well as completing our control room inside the plant. So again, that's uh, probably in the order 85% complete. And then the third item, the deep disposal wells, uh, we have to have two of those. Uh, they are permitted. And once we have the funding from the state, uh, then we'll be able to start installing those wells. And uh, because we need two of them, uh, the timeline for doing that is about four or five months to get them to the point where they're operational. Uh, so right now, the, the deep disposal wells are a critical path item. Our plant and our well field will be ready to go before the well fields, before the deep disposal wells uh, have been completed. And with that, uh, where we are with construction, uh, including the deep disposal wells, we're probably looking, uh, our best guess right now is for a startup uh, in the last quarter of this year. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for being here with us today and for giving us up an update on your honors. You're very welcome. And, and again, I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to uh, to talk about our, our project in Wyoming. Our employees are very excited uh, about being in production, and uh, they're highly motivated. And uh, we know from a human resources side, we, we're going to have a, a good staff to make this thing work.